the E-Class sedan is all new for 2017 and adopts the more curvaceous design of its C-Class and S-Class stablemates. The interior styling and appointments also emulate those cars, with a large 12.3-inch infotainment screen set into a dashboard that's richly trimmed with leather, wood, and metal. The previous generation engine lineup, which included a V6, a V8, and a diesel-powered four-cylinder, has been abandoned in favor of a single powertrain, a turbocharged four-cylinder with either rear or all-wheel drive. The 2017 E-Class is also larger than its predecessor, with increases to the wheelbase and overall length creating a more spacious interior. The only engine choice is a turbocharged 2.0-liter four-cylinder that makes 241 horsepower. It teams with rear or all-wheel drive and a 9-speed automatic. In our testing, it motivated an all-wheel drive E-Class to 60 miles per hour in 6.5 seconds. While very quiet during normal driving, under heavy throttle, the engine can sound coarse. The 9-speed automatic transmission is unobtrusive in comfort mode, going about its business seamlessly. Select Sport mode, and it snaps off quick shifts. In Sport Plus mode, which seems out of place in a car tuned for maximum comfort, the gear shifts are abrupt and sometimes border on violent. While the front seats are spacious and comfortable, rear seat legroom is average for the class. The comparably sized Honda Accord offers more than 38.0 inches of rear legroom, so luxury buyers expectors of spread out room will be disappointed. There's no denying that the E-Class is a handsome car, although some may find the styling too sedate. Large windows and narrow roof pillars help with outward visibility and allow an abundance of light into the cabin for an extra sense of spaciousness.